Hello Twin Flames and welcome to your Twin Flame check-in for Tuesday. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels. And I'm going to bring in four decks of cards today. We're going to get an energy around the feminine, the mask and the journey. And they're giving me some burpy energy straight away there. Wow. So definitely feel some fear is being released today in both twins to create the way for union, but also the way for reunion first so you can communicate and connect and talk about the way you feel. And not only about the way you feel, but what you want. So I feel this is a big message about fears being released, about being able to give each other what you truly, deeply desire inside and what you really want. So we're going to bring in the 50 Shades of the Divine Feminine. I'm also going to bring in the With Love cards by Cat Cherry and the Divine Oracle by Divine Visions. And I'm also going to bring in at the end... A divine masculine message. We're going to bring in what the secret thoughts are today and what they want you to know. So thank you, angel. So what's the energy today, please, around the divine feminine? Look at that. Wow. Power coming in for the divine feminine today. Divine feminine in power. That's really what I'm connecting with. So any fear is being released to put you into a place of power. So the energy around the divine masculines today embrace spiritual gifts now i don't usually do it this way i usually shuffle first but because they're coming out this way look at this we've got power for the feminine and the masculines because of your power are embracing their power embracing their spiritual gifts so this could be their telepathy the way they're connecting with you the listening to their gut instincts so the more tuned in with the solar plexus you know they are dealing with fears, you know, dealing with inner demons, that's the energy around the connection, I really do feel that the fear is being released to move things forward the right way, so let's bring in the rest of the cards and then we'll put it all together, so the energy around the divine feminine today, jumping out there, the energy around the divine masculines today, again jumping out on the camera there, these are the energies around the masculines and the energy around the connection today, Wow, flying up the deck. These are the cards, and then I've got a couple falling on the floor. So I'm going to take them as well. And the energy around, we just move these out of the way. The energy around the Divine Feminines. Wow, these cards are on fire today. They are falling everywhere. So there's clearly big things being healed and released today. The energy around the Divine Masculines, please, angels. The energy around the Divine Masculines. There we go, one card for the mask, and that's powerful, and the energy for, look at this, for the journey, it jumped out, we've got beautiful feather, which means the angels are giving you signs, your loved ones in heaven are giving you signs, and you've been reminded today to pay attention to the signs, very powerful, and then we're going to bring in a message or a secret thought from your masculine today with this deck, so, wow, or a secret thought, should I say, we've got one card there, and then we've got a few on the floor powerful stuff so let's start with the masculine today then because they're embracing their spiritual gifts this is really powerful this means they are more in tune with themselves and because this card's come out i want to bring in as well my divine masculine dark truths come to light deck so i'm just going to shuffle and see what else we need to know so the message coming up is it won't work yet so your masculine is very aware that they want to be with you at the right time because we've got the Libra card coming out here, balance. I'm ready to commit to our love. So what your twin is saying to you is, I am becoming balanced and ready to commit to our love. So this is a great affirmation that the masculines can use because even if they aren't quite ready yet, if they are saying to you it won't work just yet, they are affirming this now. So they are mentally preparing for this. I still have valuable soul lessons I need to learn. And it won't work between us right now for that reason. Now, remember, we're moving into the Christmas period. And I really feel that Christmas 2023 is a time of realization, epiphanies, awakening, and solid soul growth for the masculines. So they are going to be realizing and understanding so many things during this season. And that's why it won't work yet. So don't be triggered if you're not together for Christmas yet or things aren't happening yet because it is happening. They are getting ready to commit to your love. Wow. Can you hear that there? Big, powerful movement there with a vehicle outside. And that was some kind of camper van, which is a big sign about 
moving home or moving into the right energy. And your masculine is reminding you here that you are learning a lot at this time too as a divine feminine. And when you are both ready and the lessons have been learnt by both of you, the universe will bring you together permanently in this lifetime. So once again, this is a promise of union. Trust in that as I so strongly do. So what your masculine is saying to you is, I am now strongly trusting in my gut. I am opening up and embracing my spiritual gifts. And one of those gifts is to listen to their intuition and connect with their solar plexus. I am ready to commit to our love, so I'm able to give you messages and words of love. A message of love will be sent to you soon. So this is your mask and really kind of reassuring you that they are going to reach out to you soon with words of love. A message of love will be sent to you soon. So don't worry if you're not together yet or it's not working yet because it's all falling into place. All you have to do is look for the signs. You are being given signs by the universe. And this is really powerful because the message coming through from heaven for the connection today is pay attention to the signs you're being sent. And you may even see feathers today because feathers are a sign of protection. White feathers are a great symbol of that comfort from heaven, being shown that everything is okay, that you are safe. If you see a darker feather, it's a symbol about forgiveness and healing. So look for the signs today because everything is pointing you towards the direction of union and showing you this is what's ahead. And the masculines are opening their third eye because they are connecting with your light and the light from heaven and the light within their own self to use their intuition to see the truth. So what I'm really connecting with here is the masculines are embracing their spiritual gifts of intuition, light and truth. That means they are starting to see things a lot more clearly with their third eye because sometimes the light of the feminine is so bright and blinding to that. Like the way the sun is when we have to adjust with sunglasses or get used to the light that we have to just take a moment to allow it in. And the masculines take a moment sometimes to allow this in. This is why they don't reply straight away or they ghost you or sometimes block you because the processing... So they're using their intuition to see the truth. And he's saying, I want to call you and talk to you. So this is the energy he's in today. I am ascending into union with you. You made me feel like you didn't need me, so I walked away. What he's saying to you here is, you have everything together. You have your whole life sorted. Why do you want me? What could you possibly want with me? In other words, he's saying to you, I didn't feel secure enough to be around you. I didn't feel good enough for you. I didn't feel worthy of you. You made me feel like you didn't need me, so I walked away. Now, that's his perception of what's going on. Of course, you need your twin. You know, we feel better with our twin. We don't need them to feel whole and complete, but we desire to be with them because we know we belong with them. But what he's saying is, I felt inside like I wasn't good enough for you. I felt like you're so independent and strong and self-reliant that you didn't need me for anything. And also the masculines like to come into the connection with equal energy. They want to be able to give to you divine feminine. They want to be able to provide and, you know, create things and be a balanced partner. So if they feel like they can't do that, and that's also because as a feminine, they give me fear around this too. Fear is being released around this too, because... As a feminine, we nurture, we overgive sometimes, and we just want to share everything that we are. And that can include financial sharing, it can be money orientated, it can be all kinds of things. And what the masculine is saying is, I had to walk away until I could heal that part of myself to come forward in the right energy. And no one ever loved me that way. No one ever loved me like you love me, and it scared me. It scared me that you loved me that way. I walked away because I couldn't handle it. No one has ever wanted to give to me in that way before. I just felt so insignificant compared to you. And these are like his dark truths he's sharing with you today because he's saying these are things I'm healing. Remember, we've got dealing with the inner demons. The masculine's saying, I want to be able to give to you everything that you've ever given to me. 
I felt so insignificant compared to you. So feminists don't blame yourself or think that it's your fault that he felt this way. You didn't make him feel like anything. He felt this way himself because of his own insecurities and fears. He walked away because he had to heal that part of himself that felt insignificant compared to you. And that could be because maybe you've got a great career or you're financially supported or you're out of debt or you've walked away from a karmic situation or you just live in your authentic truth. Whatever it is, he's saying, I, I felt like you didn't need me. I felt like, why would you even want me? So I walked away. But now I'm ascending into a better energy because now I feel worthy of you to be in union with you. And I want to call you and talk to you about this. I am healing my commitment issues. Now, there could be an issue around a commitment. So he could be married. He could be in a relationship right now. He could have kids. And we're moving towards Christmas. And he's saying, I need to deal with this first. He may just be feeling pain around his past or maybe his parents' past or anything else. And he's saying, I've been clearing my karma. I have cleared all my karma. I'm coming to you. This is a huge message about the new year, 2024. So the masculines are dealing with their inner demons and so are you. So pay attention to the signs because they are showing you the truth. And I'm going to do the feminine cards in a second, but look at this for the journey. Playfulness. Playfulness. Be more playful. It's Christmas time. There's magic around. Notice the smiling faces of children and the beauty of it all and the way you feel when Santa comes on an advert on the TV or something lights you up inside or maybe you go shopping and you feel the excitement or you hear a carol or something lifts you up. Humour and playfulness make your relationship amazing. That means don't make it serious or stressful, be light-hearted and playful. And if you get nervous, focus on service. There is nervous energy between you because you feel something is coming and also because you know it needs to be equal effort. You deserve to have this reciprocated, your effort in love. And the body language will also speak to you. So play, pay close attention. They give me the word play, which is about being very playful. But pay close attention to their actions, not just their words. So remember, if they are saying to you they don't care or something else, watch their body language because it's always connected to you. And your twin is really inside a true romantic. They want to give that to you. You will soon experience a beautiful romance. So it's going to be everything you want it to be. But you must believe it. You should have faith that your union is coming. The angels are saying that to you. You should have faith. Look at all the signs you receive that everything's working. Sometimes we self-sabotage it with our own mind. Someone in the connection is deceiving themselves. That could be a karmic partner. That could be the masculines wearing that mask. So feminines today, someone you love is thinking of you right now. That's your twin. Your twin is thinking of you right now. Why? Because it's destined love. It's destined. It's written in the stars. So you must believe. Tap into your creative spirit right now. It's your time to shine. If you get nervous, focus on service. And your dreams hold significant sacred messages. So you may be dreaming about them. You may be shown signs in dreams. Remember, pay attention to those signs. And those signs are showing you there is improving health. So I'm seeing this as the union getting closer, the journey getting better improving health you're going to feel this inside so even if you've been going through something physically maybe you've been going through your own ascension you're going to feel improving health and it's also about confronting each other but confronting your own fears and insecurities and knowing that it's time to take the control back by saying I know that I'm grounded I know that I'm determined and I know that I'm loyal and I recognize that loyalty within my twin I know my twin is determined to take control. I know my twin must take control. And that's why sometimes we're given another path so we can choose another path, the path of love. Another path is to trust yourself, to trust the love. You know what you really feel in your heart. So you've been asked to trust in that and that will always guide you forward. You know that you are a power couple. You and your partner can face any challenge together. And it's worth it. This is worth it. Your connection is worth the effort. And you don't have to try and rescue them or save them or make them see. All you have to do is be you in your own power. 
and that's going to move everything forward the right way so because you've got the power couple card gives me an excuse to bring in my deck the power couples twin flame love oracle so what do you need to know today look at this you've got jesus and mary coming through so the message is about unconditional love unconditional love you can't put conditions on unconditional love love does not demand its own way love does not hold any record of wrongs love is patient love is kind and patience doesn't mean waiting around looking at your clock going over the past and saying oh it's been 20 years it's about loving the life you live it's about being in the moment and enjoying it to the full and being you even when there's frustration even when you're not getting what you want even when you feel like you deserve more focus on the unconditional aspect of this love not the frustration of not having it in this moment so don't be triggered today if you're not together but your masculine is being very honest and saying it won't work yet because i need to release my karmic situation because i need to feel good enough for you because i want to give equally to you because I'm sorting out all my karmic issues to be free for you and to be free in myself so I can give equally and powerfully to our connection and that's what's being created this card just moved on top of the deck so there's a creation energy taking place to bring everything in so the important message here today is to trust in yourself to trust in the love and trust in the journey I hope this helps have a great day and I'll see you soon